Hello guys, this is New Avengers issue number 30 and I am Steve as usual. Hope you guys will enjoy this one. This is a pretty good issue, but some reviewers didn't give Evan this at 5 points also out of 10. So we're gonna check what just happened and I'm gonna give the review from IGN.com first. So by just sitting this review, it's gonna be cool because I really read it and it's cool. So it's funny to think how utterly confused a casual reader would be if they choose to dive into Jonathan Hickman's Avengers saga with this issue. Not that Hickman is or should be very concerned with targeting that demographic this far into the time runs out storyline but that's there's definitely a lot of information and names being tossed about in this issue Ivory Kings, Mapmakers, Builders, Sidera Maris, Beyonders there's a lot to pour over as Hickman moves his saga closer to the climax that is Secret Wars as always the series rewards the diligent and the patient despite the Captain Britain focused cover this issue is mainly told from the perspective of Hank Pym, who emerged at the end of issue 29. Bearing news of the Beyonders, Pym sits about relating his entire journey through the multiverse and his struggle to find the source of its collapse. Through it all, Hickman offers glimpses of beings far outside the realm of human understanding, waging war and dying. There's a very epic feel to this issue, one accompanied by a pervasive tone of sadness as it becomes clear just how dire the state of the Marvel Universe is these days. Hickman has no trouble setting up Secret Force as the be-all and all of cosmic Marvel conflicts. Unfortunately, the art in this issue really does the writing any favors. Deliberate logic seems a bit out of his element among all the spectacle and grandeur of the story. He delivers a more workman-like quality that goes against the tone of the book. Epic cosmic battles don't, don't necessarily look epic and there's a definite disconnect between the imagery. Hickman's writing conjures and what is actually rendered on the page. It's a shame that two Avengers books can't achieve a more consistent and cohesive visual style with this evolving door of artists at work. So I just given it at 6.6 .6 out of 10. It's a overall it's a okay kind of review. But we are gonna move to comicvine.com. Oh 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 what is this? Three out of five store. That means it's some really cool shit. They're from beyond, they cannot be comprehended, they are going to destroy everything. This review is by Corey on Deadpool Schroeder. Good things about this one, the phrase, the stakes have never been higher, gets thrown around a lot. Jonathan Hickman is real, real good at earning rhetoric that is normally nothing more than mere hyperbole. And truly the stakes have that skyrocketed over the last few issues. Culminating here, Hickman brings out the map makers, the Alephs, the builders, and at long last the Ivory Kings. We got a glimpse of what was to come at the cliffhanger of last issue. And now we get a big off info dump on just where Hank Pym has been for the last several months. Spoiler alert, things go very, very badly, very, very badly, cosmically badly, universe ending that endingly badly it's bad this are uh, things are bad heckman also gives us a glimpse at the fate of the captain bridge corpse with a sort of tie-in in amazing spider-man 15 and ends on still another gloriously here pulling cliffhanger the stakes are set up the main thread is established things are coming to a head and it Look, the look of Sacred Wars is becoming clearer and clearer. Hickman has always been especially adept at building the stakes slowly, so it never feels overwhelming or perfunct that perfunctory and it's not the easiest thing to make the fate of the universe feel as personal as it does in this issue. Deliberate logic handles pencils and does a generally good job so the way he is drawn the characters gives a weighty clear cut feel to their emotional resonance and impact that they are currently going through and makes the reader feel it right along with them. Some bad, bad things are there. So while the art generally does a great job with things like scale and characters' facial expressions, there's a lack of detail in some of bigger moments, and the characters lack fluidity and have a tendency to feel 
exposed. So in some ways the verdict from this one is this isn't a bad issue of New Avengers but it's not a great one though it likely is leading to something far far greater as these issues often do but standing on its own this isn't a terribly strong issue it sets up a lot of great stuff and there are some very very solid moments in it but it ultimately comes off as too clinical and detached for its own good so I hope you guys have enjoyed this one New Avengers issue number 30 and if you want to enjoy the story and if you want to read the comics just go to the store and buy this book this will help the makers the publishers and have a great day don't forget to leave a like and lots of shows are coming my next review will be which one all the x-men yes that will be so adios guys